Good morning, and welcome to today's vlog. Wow! Gym session number two. We stumbled upon this pagoda here, or as Meg would say, a Patagonia. This city is so cool. Oh, I can't get over it. We are dropping off our laundry. But that being said, it's still only like $9 for two. Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. We got our workout in, thanks CrossFit to Hoy for a great cardio session. Today, we don't really have too much planned, we're just gonna bring you along with us. We are walking back from the gym now and we're gonna see if we can hit some of the historical sites here in Hanoi, maybe grab some food. Not entirely sure what today will bring, but hopefully it'll be uh, another great day in Hanoi and you can just get a feel for what the city has to offer. Why is it working? I don't think it's working anything. <laughs> Are you sure this is right? No. Nope. I guess maybe you're awake. Behind me here is a golfing range. It's like top golf, but instead of hitting into holes and into a net, you just hit into the water. Looks fun. We stumbled upon this pagoda here or as Meg would say, a Patagonia. <laughs> I know, it's one time. Chan Kwok Pagoda, I think that's what this is. It is the oldest Buddhist temple in Hanoi. It's located in a small island right by West Lake, which is where we are right now. The lake that Ian's been showing you, that's West Lake. Oldest one in Hanoi, there you go. There you go, oldest pagoda in Hanoi, or Patagonia, whatever you want to say. <laughs> wow. Anyway, very cool. Wow. If you are ever in Hanoi, I would highly recommend walking as much as you can. Don't take a taxi, don't take a cab, just walk. There's so much exciting things going on in, in the streets and stuff. So many things that you're gonna see that you normally won't see taking a taxi. Once you kind of get over the, the fear and gain some confidence of the traffic, meaning the motorbikes are just crazy here, but once you get used to that, it's really honestly a great city to walk in and I would highly recommend doing that. So behind me here is the Vietnam Presidential Palace. It looks amazing. It has the like French architecture, kind of this really like bright, almost gold yellow color. Okay. So we just went through the security checkpoint to go see where Ho Chi Minh is buried. And we are like the only ones here. It's like insane. It's like this huge like plaza, like grass plaza. And we're like the only ones walking around. Here, I'll show you. The, okay, so a little research. It's like nobody. So, Ho Chi Minh was known as Father of the People and was a Vietnamese revolutionary and statesman. Okay, he served as minister, as president, and as, I think actually he was the first president of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. But yeah, no one is here to the point where we broke rules walking on something we weren't supposed to because we didn't know. Yeah, that, that was a mistake. Sorry. Now it says restricted area. I see it. Thank you. Yay! No, thank you too bad for that. So right behind me here is where Ho Chi Minh lies to rest. You can actually, I believe, pay to go in and see like where his he actual body. like you can see his actual body. We're not doing that, but if you uh, have some time and and you want to pay to go see him. I would probably recommend it. This place is really cool. Cool building. I feel like we are not doing his biography justice yeah. in any way. So especially if you know a lot about uh, just like the Vietnam War and Vietnam history in general, I'm sure it's spectacular in there. Yeah. Anyway, still very cool. <laughs> This 
city is so cool. Oh, I can't get over it. Every corner is just so different. So many cool things to see. So behind me here is St. Joseph's Cathedral. It is a Roman Catholic church. It's very like, it looks very gothic, like it's kind of dark, but a really cool building just kind of here in the center of the, the old quarter here. It was built in the 19th century, as Meg just told me. And keep in mind, all of these uh, different things that we went to today have been free if you don't want to go in, but they're all within walking distance. So if you're just looking for a good afternoon, you don't want to spend a ton of money, you can easily hit all of these different historical sites here in Hanoi, and it's just a great afternoon activity. That was Bon Me 25 again. You probably saw it in one of our other videos as well. But I'm just gonna tell you this. That place, it is the best. It rocks. It rocks. The owner's super cool. He does triathlons. He told us all about his bikes. And his brother works there as well. His brother works there. They've uh, owned it for 10 years. I would highly recommend. It, it's actually not recommend. It's not a recommendation. It's a must. It's you have to go to Bon Me 25. And very, very affordable. Like a dollar thirty per sandwich. A dollar, yeah, a dollar thirty per sandwich. So good. We do have to do a chore today. We are dropping off our laundry. We are taking it to the guy. We actually took our some of our laundry to this guy yesterday. He did a great job. Everything smells really nice, and he folded it really nicely. So, got to take care of some laundry today. Hello, sir. Come in. No, thank you. Hello. We shall be coming, sir. Hello, sir. Come in. 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 Yes, two. And can we get spring rolls? Yes. Yeah. So we found ourselves back at the Boncha place that we. Boncha. We found ourselves back at the Boncha place that we went to in our food tour, which you probably saw in like the last video or last couple of videos, because it's so good. You get, as a reminder, you get a ton of meat, like a bunch of pork, and like a broth type soup. And then what you do is you take the noodles over here and you just kind of slowly add them in, which literally you could make this like a never ending bowl of soup because you can just keep adding noodles and noodles and noodles. I think when we were here in our food tour, I ate like half of it, but the flavor is really good. It's a little bit sweeter than pho. It's just different, which is really uh, kind of nice. Boon Cha was good. It was 220,000 dong. I don't think that's the, the local rate. I definitely think that's the tourist rate. But with that being said, it's still only like $9 for two bowls of soup and spring rolls. So still not bad at all. Now we are off to find some dessert. I'm going to do everyone a favor here and say that when you're planning a trip to Hanoi, you need to stay in the old quarter. It is the only place to stay. Don't look anywhere else. Stay in the old, old quarter. That is where all the action is happening. That is where all the good food is. So there's your little tip for planning. Stay in the old quarter. All right, hopefully you enjoyed kind of following us around Hanoi today. Nothing too super exciting. Loki is walking or a self walking tour. Yeah. Nothing. Wish, wish we knew more information as we walked, but it was still really fun to see just a lot of stuff. Um, overall arching points to kind of maybe take away from this video is that you should walk everywhere here in Hanoi. Tons of good food in the old quarter and that is also where you should stay. Hopefully you enjoyed, like I said, following along with us today, but that's really all we got for this one and we will see you in the next video. Victoria. Is that Victoria? I think that's what it is. So in